The McIntyre name, Makanzawa in Gaelic, holds deep meaning, son of the carpenter. According to a traditional account, the clan's origin can be traced back to the early 12th century, during the time of Somerled's lordship in the Western Isles. Somerled sought the hand of Ronhild, the daughter of Olaf the Red, Norse King of Man and the Isles. To secure the alliance, Somerled's resourceful nephew, Macaril of Morris, sabotaged Olaf's galley, saving the king's life and earning the title of the right or carpenter. This act not only established the McIntyre lineage but also earned them high favor with Somerled. Macaril's descendants later settled in Glen No by Ben Cruachan on Loch Etiv. Legend has it that they were guided by a mystical prophecy involving a white cow in their herd. As they sought a fertile land to call home, the cow's resting place led them to the prosperous Glen No, nestled amidst breathtaking Scottish scenery. By the end of the 13th century, the McIntyres found themselves as foresters to the Lord of Lorne, a position they held through changing ruling families. The McIntyre clan's influence continued to grow through strategic alliances. Duncan, the first recorded chief, married a daughter of Campbell of Barkeldean, and through this connection, they claimed descent from none other than Robert the Bruce, the legendary Scottish king. This lineage strengthened their standing within Scottish society and fortified their sense of pride and heritage. During times of turmoil, clans were often drawn into conflicts. The McIntyres found themselves entangled in the civil war in Scotland, and took sides based on their alliances. While many McIntyres joined the royalist forces led by Alistair MacDonald, Colkitto, due to their perceived kinship, the chief himself was with the Earl of Argyll's forces at Inverlochy in 1645 when they suffered a surprise defeat against Montrose. This event highlighted the complexities and loyalties clans navigated during turbulent periods. The McIntyre clan produced notable figures who left an indelible mark on Scottish history. James, the third chief, was not only a scholar and poet but also a man torn between loyalty and personal convictions during the Jacobite uprising in 1745. Despite his desire to join Prince Charles Edward Stuart, he succumbed to the influence of his Campbell wife and neighbours. However, many McIntyres fought under Stuart of Appin at Culloden, while the esteemed bard Duncan Van McIntyre fought for the House of Hanover at the Battle of Falkirk. The McIntyres held their lands through feudal obligations to the Campbells, but as the 18th century dawned, financial pressures mounted. Cash rents were imposed, and the increasing burden forced Donald, the fourth recorded chief, to emigrate to America in 1783. Duncan, his brother, struggled to manage the estate until 1806 when he, too, departed Glen No. This marked a significant shift in the clan's trajectory, as they continued to honor their Scottish origins in the New World, preserving their heritage through cherished symbols and artifacts. In recent history, Clan McIntyre has experienced a renaissance of its ancestral legacy. In 1955, Alistair McIntyre of Camo Na H. Erie recorded arms as a cadet of the chiefly House of McIntyre. However, it was in 1991 that James Wallace McIntyre of Gleno, the ninth recorded chief, matriculated the correct undifferenced arms, restoring the McIntyre's rightful place among the Council of Clan Chiefs. Today, Clan McIntyre stands proudly, ensuring the preservation of their heritage and offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of Scotland's cultural mosaic.